Pakistan. Welcome back to Corporate Governance. Uh, we've been talking about various dimensions and now we are uh, going to be coming to the close of Corporate Governance. Uh, we've seen that uh, how different factors, different schools of thought, different dimensions, different frameworks, uh, different, di different aspects, different institutions and how the world is basically clicking, how the world has changed in the past 20 years and how it has drastically changed in the past 100 years. The dimensionalities of Corporate Governance uh, are more virtual than real anymore. The large corporations manufacturing powerhouses like General Electric and uh, like uh, the three uh, automobile companies uh, of Detroit and uh, the manufacturing concerns uh, around the world have actually been diminished in size uh, by the virtual world, by organizations uh, which are more futuristic in design and more futuristic in context and uh, are more uh, out of the box uh, approach towards business and business dynamics. We've also seen uh, that corporate governance uh, the models of the UK, the models of USA, the European models uh, and the Far Eastern Japanese model and then again in Europe uh, the dominating uh, basically German uh, corporate model. All of these models have uh, their own nuances, have their own intricacies, uh, have uh, their own uh, assimilation of the local context of business. Uh, but yet now it's a globalized world or localized world and therefore there is a great need for convergence uh, of corporate governance and a more uh, international language which can be understood uh, by all corporates while doing business. So therefore the future of corporate governance is a completely different ball game altogether. And there is a need to bring that conver convergence together and that adaptability uh, by uh, all of the different regions, all of the different continents of the world and finding out a common language uh, which is implemented by uh, corporations at the small level, at the medium level and also at the large level. Now, ladies and gentlemen, uh, when we see uh, the future of corporate governance, each of the systems is facing pressure to change. The long-term stakeholder orientation of the German and Japanese systems is under insistent pressure to deliver shareholder value, particularly from overseas investment institutions. So now what we see is that there is this cross-investment taking place. It's not all, only uh, the national investment which is taking place, but national economies are now overwhelmingly being invested by global investors and these global investors have their own expectations and also want to be able to understand the language of business in each country and ensure that their investments are safe. And in that safety net, they want to also ensure that best practices are being followed, which can be implemented or replicated around the world. And they can implement or, or, or replicate their own systems, their own value systems under a corporate governance uh, umbrella. We've seen that the Anglo-American approach is itself being challenged by international, national and community agencies to recognize wider social and environmental responsibilities. Look at what is happening now. We see uh, a huge flux uh, of climate change. We see weathers changing. Uh, we see terrains changing. We see crops changing. We are seeing how uh, different communities are being changed uh, due to the uncertainty of the environment, of the climate and again, the challenges of the environment of the future. Uh, wars are going to be fought over water. How is all of that changing? What has to be done to recognize these environmental responsibilities and also uh, social contributions? These are extremely important and they have to be made a part and parcel uh, of uh, corporate frameworks within the corporate governance uh, models. And again, we have to see that how these organizations can, can individually and collectively combat these challenges, these uncertainties uh, of the future and that is becoming uh, very, very important. Uh, the German and Japanese systems uh, are faced with demands for increased transparency and disclosure. If we look at the future and a future model uh, could be as one option, a unitary system as there is strong convergence towards a global system which assembles the best elements of both major uh, governance systems and combines them together. So again, uh, we are talking about uh, the combination of best practices, finding out uh, what is the best implemental practices in one system and in the other system and in this case looking at the Far Eastern model and the European model and then putting them together and seeing that how they can be implemented by countries across the world. So that could be one viable option. Now if we look at the uh, Anglo-American uh, model then we see a universal market-based system as anticipated by the Chicago School of Financial Economists representing the triumph of the rules-based outsider system. So now, the second option is, is that we define the rules 
which are universal rules. And then again, through third parties, uh, ensure uh, that they are being implemented uh, by different corporations and they're being followed uh, without uh, any discrimination or without uh, any misinterpretation of the rules and the regulations. And that uh, could be another form of this. Or we could even combine uh, the future option one with the future option two, that we can look at the best uh, of the two systems, the European and the Far Eastern, and then uh, also uh, look at the uh, rules and regulations which you see in the Anglo, uh, in the, uh, Anglo model and the Anglo-American model, and then put them together and find out the best possible framework which can be followed globally. And uh, then also ensure that within them, we have the social and the environmental factor so that the future generations uh, are saved and we can save our planet from uh, the vast disasters uh, of the environment and of the climate, which already we are feeling. And that again is creating huge uh, challenges uh, for nations, uh, for, uh, for corporations, uh, for societies and for communities and also for individuals. So that, that is the future and we have to find out uh, the best way possible and then go for its implementation across the board. Thank you so much.